SIM card. June the 6th, 2013, remarks a day in the family of Francis Ekwam. It was on this day that he left his home in Marara, Samburu, to a trip to Eldoret to visit his son. However, he never arrived at his destination, neither did he return home to date. His family is in the dark on what will have happened to him as they are yet to receive information on his whereabouts. <laughs> They have too many questions with little answers forthcoming from the authorities on the fate of their kin. Three days after he left home, his mobile phone went silent. They are not certain if it was switched off or it simply ran out of charge, ending any hope of reaching him on phone. The family says before his phone was switched off, they received a call from a stranger who informed them he appeared drunk and confused and proceeded to demand money from the family to inform them on his whereabouts. They alerted the authorities who traced his phone to Kisi County, where a young man was arrested using his SIM card. Kesi ilitupiliwa mbali na tuliambiwa ni kwa sababu wale askari ambao walikuwa na usika walipigwa transfer. Kwa hivyo hakukuwa na watu kutoa hawakuweza kutoa evidence yao. Japokuwa wale wengine wote waliweza, my brother li testify, wale wengine ambao walihusika waliweza kutoa their evidence. Sasa sisi kama familia tunaona kwamba hatukuweza kupata haki. Kwa sababu mpaka saa hizi hatujui mali ambapo mzee yuko. His sister, Modesta Loturo, says the case was taken before an Akuru court from 2014 to 2016. Virginia Ekwam, the missing man's daughter, says lack of professional counselors has made it difficult for the family to get help and come to terms with the possibility that they might not ever see the kin again. Hapa Samburu tuko na shida. Hatuna wa makansola ambayo wanesa kutusaidia, kutupa mashauri katika hali kama hii ngumu sahi tunapitia. They are appealing to anyone who may have information on what could have transpired on the fateful day to come forward and give them closure. Until then, they continue to cling on to hope that he is alive and he will one day find his way back home. For KBC Channel One, my name is Moses Nguono Nyakundi.